When you think of worms, you probably think of the creepy crawly ones you find on the sidewalk after a rain shower. However, in the deep sea you can find an incredible diversity of worms living in an amazing assortment of ways. Many of these are polychaete worms that are cousins to the garden variety earthworm. Polychaetes have segmented bodies with paddle-like feet or parapodia on each segment. Most have bristles or chitae that they use for defense, crawling, or swimming. Polychaete worms are common in the ocean. About 8,000 species have been described so far, but many new species are still being discovered. On the seafloor, polychaete worms burrow in deep sea mud, crawl along rocky canyon walls, colonize superheated hydrothermal vents, and even eat decaying well skeletons. But perhaps the most extraordinary polychaetes live in the midwater, swimming or drifting deep below the ocean surface, but far above the bottom. Flota and Swimma are two remarkable worms that live in the depths of Monterey Canyon. They swim by undulating their bodies while beating multiple paddle-like appendages. In the midwater, there is no place to hide, so these worms have protective sharp spines as well as amazing glowing organs that may startle or distract potential predators. Believe it or not, this is another kind of polychaete worm. It typically drifts about a thousand meters below the ocean's surface, collecting food particles using a mucus net that functions much like a spider's web. One of several new species recently described by scientists at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, this worm was so weird that researchers had to use genetic testing to figure out how it fit into the tree of life. They named it Chetopterus cugaporcinus. The species name means rump of a pig because researchers decided that was a fitting description. Wouldn't you agree? Another worm that collects food using a mucus net is Peobius. Only about one inch long, this worm doesn't have any obvious segments, parapodia, or chitae, yet it is still a polychaete. It wriggles vigorously when disturbed and is one of the most abundant animals researchers see in the midwaters of Monterey Bay. Timopterus, the dancing bristle worm, is an active swimmer using large fleshy parapodia for bursts of rapid speed. These worms have transparent bodies to conceal them from unwary prey and are voracious predators on other drifting animals. They can also emit a brilliant yellow glow to distract potential predators. Timopterid worms create round egg masses to protect their babies until the young worms grow large enough to break free and begin hunting in the open ocean. The next time you're digging around in your garden and come across a common earthworm, think about its deep sea relatives and take a moment to marvel at the remarkable diversity of polychaete worms. This is Kira Schlenning at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute.